I'm Erin Christie and I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. One person is dead after a car crash near 71st in Yale last night. Police saying just before 11 o'clock, first responders arrived to the scene where they saw a car engulfed in flames. They say when the victim was at a stoplight, a suspect rear ended that smaller vehicle with a van. The suspect is currently in the hospital. Police have not identified the victim. Tulsa County District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler says lawmakers need to take action on Oklahoma's exploding mental health crisis. Those remarks one day after his daughter stabbed him and herself during a confrontation earlier this week. He says they'll both recover, but he spoke passionately about more being done to address mental health issues. In the day ahead, lawmakers will gather in the state capitol to consider bills allocating ARPA funds. A release from the House says one option includes spending $50 million to create a pharmaceutical development lab at OSU. U Tulsa. The release calls it a project to help Oklahomans suffering from opioid addiction. And now we want to get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Michael Sager. We could use some rainfall, but look at this. No rain in the forecast through the weekend and into the middle of next week. That's the bad news because of the drought conditions and the grass fire risk will be up today, even though the wind won't be terribly strong just with how dry we are and how dry the air is going to be this afternoon. That combination with just a little bit of a breeze does keep the grass fire risk up, so no outdoor burning. And that's the downside to no rain. Here's the good side to no rain. Look at the forecast for your plans this afternoon, whether you're heading out to the Tulsa State Fair or just going to go out for a jog this afternoon. Gorgeous, not as hot as what we've had the last couple of days, closer to 80 degrees this afternoon. We'll fall through the 60s this evening and might even get a few 40s in parts of green country tomorrow morning. We're going to go about 50 to 3 for the low in Tulsa tomorrow morning. 81 as we go into uh, tomorrow afternoon, a fantastic Friday. And again, through the weekend and into next week, thumbs up if you got plans to head out to the Tulsa State Fair.